Most unexpected beef of 2024. Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, and KSI versus Dan TDM? What? So recently, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, and KSI have partnered together to create Lunchly. And so this is meant to be like a healthier alternative to Lunchables. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a good thing. Until I saw what was inside. Is that Prime, Feastables chocolate, and a pizza in one box? What kind of lunch is this? Like, oh yes, let me eat my Feastables and wash it down with some Prime. I genuinely don't get how this is supposed to be healthier. I mean, Prime is already just cancer juice. Add some chocolate and some preservative pizza to that. You have a horrible combination. And so Dan TDM had enough and he tweeted this. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. And soon a bunch of different YouTubers like FGTV and Ibalistic Squid came in and agreed with him. But KSI replied with this, looks like crap to me, and he put pictures of Dan TDM's merch. And Logan Paul also replied, but that's a bunch of yap, I'm not gonna read it. Right now, Dan TDM, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul are all trending on Twitter. But I gotta say that Dan TDM is the GOAT. Like, honestly, if you're not on his side, I don't know what you're on. Trying to make a healthy alternative to Lunchables is like trying to make a healthy version of the Chum Bucket. You just can't do it. So honestly, props to Dan TDM for standing on business. He will always be the GOAT.